Hello everyone, this will be the review of Eonia and the key was provided by developer. Uh, Eonia is an exploration um, kind of RPG game, more exploration than RPG at this state, and it's very clearly an alpha um, version of the game. Uh, I'm actually gonna try to start the game for the third time. I played a bit, then I played after some patches on old saves and I ran into a bug and the developer told me that I should use completely new save, completely new file and after that there were even more patches so we will try to figure out how um, the game looks now, what's the status of the game. I did play it and um, well, I have very mixed feelings about this game. It's definitely not a bad game, but it's also definitely an unfinished game. So I'm gonna try to show you what it is now. Um, as you can see, um, the developer tells us that this is the alpha, right? Uh, early access. Also, a lot of talking, a lot of, uh, well, ideological talking about what the game might be and what the game is supposed to be. There's a lot of um, work put into the um uh, well making the game better mm, listening to feedback even my personal feedback uh, so that's a plus definitely the author tries to finish the game and you can of course if you get the key and anyhow uh, you can also give your own ideas and try to make the game work Mm, also, some clarification that we have that the game right now is kind of linear because it's a prologue, it's just one area and uh, it's a tutorial. That's also a problem with the recording because I'll be basically showing you a tutorial which is very linear. Uh, but overall the game should be an open world game. Uh, my general idea how the game looks and what it is, it's like um, kind of like Skyrim, Skyrim cut out of paper in a very budget version, like a big world, a colorful world where you can do a lot of stuff, but the game is not based on combat, it's more based on exploration, so it's like budget smaller Skyrim without combat, if this makes any sense. Uh, some people also say it's an asset flip, uh, I wouldn't agree, I think that the game is actually looking quite specific and unique. And that's definitely a plus when it comes to graphics. Uh, also help. As you can see, some stuff is there, but some stuff is not yet there. So uh, there is a lot of talking on this Steam store page, what is in the game. Actually, some of it is not yet in the game. I'm not entirely sure what is implemented and what will be implemented and when the game will be finished. So this is very problematic. There is definitely some content already there. But we have no guarantee that everything will be actually finished. Uh, options, uh, well, two languages and I switched off uh, music and I lowered sound. That's at least it's there. Also when we start the game we can put it to window mode, so that's good. Uh, Alright guys, so I'm gonna try to start it. Uh, let's see if my saves are there. Yes, my saves are there, but I'm gonna make a new one, a completely new one. Hopefully now we'll see something else and maybe it's not gonna get stuck like before. And also word of warning, it might be a longer video because I just don't want to uh, show you two minutes of gameplay and say what I think. I will actually try to uh, play the game for a bit longer, burn through the tutorial if that's possible and maybe show you at least how the world looks, how the graphic looks. I, I just hope it's not gonna crash or anything. So far it I don't think it did. I got stuck in one area, but I don't think I ran into a game-breaking bug at all. So we'll try to start from the beginning. If it loads, hopefully it loads. Uh, let's see the time. Uh, it's according correctly. I just gave you a four-minute um, introduction to what the game is right now. Also, it's like five or six gigabytes. And the game is... Um, it's being played in areas connected. So it's like... Um, if you played Might and Magic and the six to nine parts, the game was um, cut into sectors. So supposedly there should be like nine or twelve. I think it's nine sectors. So far we only have one sector. So what you will see is supposedly one ninth, uh, like ten percent or eleven percent of the whole game that is supposed to be. Uh, we'll just have nine regions in the final version, if it come out, comes out. I, I don't know if it will, but I, I can just hope. 
So the overall size of the world will be definitely bigger. Hard to say how exactly big, uh, how much underground places there will be, how much uh, optional stuff. It's really hard to talk about it without showing, so I just hope it loads. Also, I want to show you how, how long it loads, because it's also, you know, a part of information. Uh, I think I lowered graphics as well, mostly just the res uh, resolution, so I just hope it's going to work properly. We're still stuck. Right now it's not starting, but I'll just give it a bit more time. Let's see what's going on. Apparently it tries to load. I hear nothing right now. Yeah. Let's just wait. Maybe let's just wait. I just hope I don't have to go from the safe and tell you everything from a saved game if I manage to even start it. Right now it seems crashed, but well not really crashed, it's just loading I guess. Mouse is working, my PC is working as well. I don't have much stuff running right now. It seems to let's see what shows the Steam page. Yeah, it seems it's running. Let's see also the discussion on forum. Yes, yeah, somebody says can't play. I don't know. Let's read it. Cannot get past the loadings. Yeah. He's using Windows 10. I'm using Windows 8. I guess. Let's see what happened. I don't know. Should be working. But it's not. Now it's like, yeah, it's still loading. Ah, I don't know what happened really. I just played it once uh, before and then I tried to load the save. And when I loaded the save, the game worked. Now it's not going into the prologue. You know what? I'm gonna start to uh, try to restart it online. Like, while we try. I'm trying to kill the process now. Yeah, so it, it definitely crashed. Maybe not crash, but it's, it's, now it's not responding. Can they switch it off? Alright, all I think I can do it now. Hopefully it closes. And I'll have to restart it. Yeah, it's eating one gigabyte of RAM. Now it crashed. So you see darkness. Let's try again. Let's just try again. Let's see if I can actually make it run. Right, low gra graphic quality. Okay, I'm starting. Let's see if you see anything. Uh, yeah, it seems. I don't know. It seems loading. Yeah, it works now. Okay, same th same thing. I'm just gonna go new game. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna just delete it. I don't know how I'm supposed to check it. I have both windows kind of interchangeable. Shows that it's loading on the OBS. The game also pretends to load. I don't know, maybe I should go on a timer and like give it... Let's give it one minute. If it doesn't load, I'm, I'm deinstalling. I won't be able to show it to you unless it's fixed. So let's see what happens. One minute of loading. I don't think it's gonna load. But I also don't think it's my, my antivirus. Because it didn't say anything, it didn't try to check it. I have zero lost uh, frames, so, so it seems to be recording properly. The game just doesn't start right now. I wonder if I could just load the save. It's probably only strange. Probably wouldn't work. Yeah, right now we cannot start the game, so that's that's kind of broken. And yeah, it's 45 seconds. And it's dead, completely. Hmm. This is weird. It should be working, but it's not. And nothing. Just nothing. 
I wonder if it loads after two minutes. Do I hear something? No. Oh, my disk isn't even working that much. Should be in the game already. Apparently it cannot load. I don't have anything other uh, running. Just nothing. So that's not the case. I wait one more, uh, like 30 seconds and then we finish. And nothing, still nothing. Just wait 20 seconds. Oh, now it's loading, guys. It's actually loading. It changed. I think we are there. Ooh, we're there. Okay. So two minutes of loading after one, I guess, crash. You can you can check if it was also two minutes. I, I wasn't patient enough. So horrible loading. Alright, I'm gonna try to go to game now. Okay, let's skip it maybe. I don't want to show too much of the story. Just the game. Okay, now it seems to be working. Okay, so from what I understand, you should be doing uh, basically everything that they say, because otherwise the game won't progress. Yeah, I wanted it to shut up, but it didn't. How am I supposed to do it? Oh, they say E. Okay, E. So those are our hands. For some reason, our hands looks like we are a painted Khajiit. Let me just check if it's recording. Yes, it's recording. Yeah, so we had problems starting the game, definitely. But yeah, it starts after two minutes. Uh, okay, so this is the bag. And we have uh, skills, but those skills are basically unlocks, from what I understand. Like, uh, we have the level 1 mining already. And then it's level 2 here, right? So... We have to unlock it. We cannot. I don't think we get any points. I think we just unlock all those things. And I guess some of it is not yet working. For instance, uh, right now we don't have repair. We don't have construction. I don't think it's implemented. We also don't have. Maybe we have fishing. I don't know what's what we actually have. Some stuff is definitely not yet there. But there is um, some crafting and some um, what else. Yeah, geology. Some collection of uh, materials. It's kind of like fantasy No Man's Sky, but in a very small frame. Just a very, very small version of it. It reminds me with the whole exploration thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to follow everything. Uh, yeah, inventory. We are supposed to probably click something, maybe not. Uh, chest. Okay, I guess we can just open it. Hope the game won't run horribly. I know the graphics are not the best, but I'm just trying. I think it's E button as well. Now we find the quest journal. Close. I'm just trying to hit it right, but I can't. Is it taken? How am I supposed to take it? Can someone explain this to me? Oh! Yeah, you cannot do this because you have to go in a linear way from now I can grab it if I can hover my mouse properly like this well, see it's like if you, if I was in Skyrim in my house that would look similar but this one is like uh, painted and too many colors there's a lot of colors in this game you can also take those fruit maybe this go from yeah so we are this painted Khajiit with some stuff right with some stuff that should be uh, showing up here, like whatever is what I'm not sure what's a sphere, but you can get some things. But at the same time, it doesn't look like we have levels. I think we just have stuff that we collect and find, but I don't think we have any sort of leveling system in the game. Can we take those? Yeah, I guess we can. All right. Uh, open the door. We can just yeah click E. There is some system of um, teleportation, so we should find something here. Right, so basically we'll go in a linear way from uh, sign to sign. Here, I don't, I don't think it's here, maybe it's here. What is this? Oh yeah, there is some stuff. So we can again take this. 
we basically follow the steps of our master. We are like an apprentice, someone, like, I don't know if we are a mage or a warrior or what, what are we? We are something, uh, some character. The, the, the game looks very strange. It's like a lot of colors like on AC, AC trip, but it is a 3D environment. You can even interact with plants to some extent and with other stuff. I don't know if you can just interact with a shroom like this, but there is some... No, you can't. You can interact with some plants for sure. Uh, I think there is this place where we can get the teleportation stone, but I'm not sure where it is. Okay. Alright, proximity. So this there is a sort of stealth system as well. We can approach... Uh, we can approach animals. Or monsters. Apparently something is seeing me. And we should go there. Oh yeah, we cannot go there because we're being blocked by this linear tutorial. But I know that there is somewhere there, somewhere close, was this teleportation device. But I cannot find it now. Because I'm stupid. Yes, maybe I'm just missing it. And maybe it's not here. I'm not sure what they tell us to do. Yeah, we should go to this uh, Master and Odious Tower. I don't know if we can show you the map. No, I don't think we can. There is a whole cartography system and we also uh, spy on enemies to get, get information about them. So it's kind of like No Man's Sky um, exploration where you have to, uh, well, basically keep um, a creature in our eyes, eyesight. So the similar system is here. Okay, so we are going to this uh, Nodios Tower. I just want to teleport because I don't know where is this teleport thing and I'm not gonna waste too much time on looking for it. Uh, there are teleport um, stones so you can generally move from one part of the map to the other. I had it on my save but I cannot use my save because apparently you cannot do it. You have to uh, make a new save after some patches otherwise it's gonna uh, just not work. That's what the developer said, so I'm listening to him. Uh, okay, so somewhere is this tower. Maybe that's the right way. Observatory and Nodius Tower. Mm, the game will be very, very uh, linear uh, as long as we are in this tutorial, but there is no other way to show you uh, basic game mechanics, because if I show you j just the save after all that is already done, then I... well... Basically, I was stuck, and other uh, aside from that, you cannot really go. Uh, you cannot really just go anywhere because we still are stuck in this one system, in this one area. I think we can use that. Yeah. Is it E? Is it left mouse button? No. How do we extract it? How do we do it? Is it F? I don't know. Let's see our inventory. Is apparel? Do we have the pickaxe? I don't know. Apparently there is some button that does it. We have like tools. I don't seem to have a pickaxe. Maybe I do. What would be the button? Okay, left mouse button doesn't work. It should actually. E button doesn't work. How am I supposed to use it? Let's see maybe if we can... No, I don't think we have the help for our buttons. Minerals, vegetables... I think we have like uh, already the knife and maybe we don't have... What is this? We have hunting knife and we have the other one. Botanical. Maybe we just don't have a pickaxe, you know, it's possible. Maybe we don't have it yet. Mm, I should be able to show you the botanic, but I cannot show you this uh, pickaxe thing. Well, the problem is that you can do it, but I'm not sure what for. What is the point of doing the botanics and the um, zoology and other stuff? Because it's not like you collect stuff and build or craft anything, because a lot of this is not yet implemented. So, uh, Also, um, you have low um, 
level by default and you cannot upgrade it without unlocking it somehow maybe even in another area that's also not yet implemented so you even if you can do something you can just waste resources because you will be doing it in an in a very bad way being uh, only on basic level of gathering the problem is I don't know why would you gather I will try to maybe show it to you here I'm trying to go my own footsteps and show you the tutorial so yeah, the game doesn't tell you that pickaxe, well, it's, I guess it's needed or has to be unlocked. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, now we can use the key which we have. Apparently we have the right key. Now there is, um, it's always sort of uh, west here. We have to look for a, well, we have to look for a piece of equipment. I'm not sure if we can pick it up now. Definitely I have to find it. So yeah, this is like a C button. And there is the object. It's hidden. Without it you cannot progress even a past tutorial. So it's kind of like a guide. You have to basically have this uh, lever. Now I have to stand up and jump. And this we cannot do because we don't know how to pick a uh, pick lock. So we need a pick lock thing. Okay, so now they tell me to go and t oh yeah, I can show you the botanics. So it should be like this that you see a plant, then you cut it. I know how you cut it. Yeah, you cut it, right? And you discover a plant somehow. So maybe let's see if we, it's in our inventory. Yeah. So we did this, right? We cut this and we add it to our collection. Like that's the exploration part. We can find animals, plants and minerals for whatever reason. I don't know why really. Uh, also no idea what's this for. The game is very much probably supposed to be a puzzle, a sort of a exploration puzzle that you have to find stuff to figure out what's what. And I'm not very good at this. I didn't really progress much. Uh, it's hard to tell what's available and what's not available. I think uh, now we have to put it there. We'll be, but by the way, we will be backtracking like crazy here. So if I do this, you, we can now use it to progress, kinda. Now we have to go exactly what they tell us. So if I do something wrong in the wrong uh, sequence, it won't work. Well, I'll try to find what we're supposed to do. Okay. Still don't know what we are doing now. Like This is a book on pick locking. And I took it. I'm not sure this is the way. Maybe. Maybe it is. I'm also gonna try to use this. See, you cannot read it. You cannot read it because the game doesn't yet go this way. However, I have pick lock book. I'm not sure if we can read it now. Maybe we can. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you have to basically go with D. At least it tells you the, all the buttons. It looks badly because it's a low resolution. Otherwise it looks slightly better. And yeah, I think there's a lot of it, actually. There's apparently a lot of it. Yes. Good. So there is actually some uh, lore here in the game. Of course, you should play it on higher resolution because otherwise it's gonna look very badly and will be unreadable. But it's just because I want to show the game in quite normal state. I want it to run bad, uh, well, uh, just well, right? I want it to run, and uh, it doesn't run too well on my system, so that's why I'm trying to lower everything I can. Of course, we can't do anything. We have to, I guess, uh, do the pick locking now. And you can save only outside. So I'm gonna just jump, move to this place. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need those. Right. And the picking up is very much like Morrowind or well yeah, Morrowind, kinda of Morrowind or Skyrim. Just problem is it doesn't run even close to how Skyrim runs, it runs worse. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Maybe 
Yeah, I guess we have to just find it. What, what am I doing? Am I doing... No, I'm using W... Uh, a, A, X, A, S, D. How am I supposed to do it? Up? No. Oh, it's bad. Apparently there is a sequence. Just tell me it's an easy sequence. Is it? Because it's if not, it's a trial and error. Yeah, it's an easy one. I'm trying to hide it. But I can't for some reason. Yeah, we opened it. Now we get the sword, which is, from what I understand, not really upgradable or anything, at least for now. Oh, I don't know why this is still... Yeah, we're still seeing the last information. Now we have to use the sword, probably in apparel. No, maybe it's, maybe it's the use thing. How do you use it? Uh, one to use it, okay. So we still have to click it. How do we click it? A right mouse button, okay, to activate it. Now we get a lot of talking about, well, fighting. And now one is the sword. And now we have to go to the basement to kill a monster. And I was stuck in the basement after last attempt to play it, after the patches, because I did wait like quite a long time actually, a few weeks, before I decided to review it, or rather give it this whole first impression thingy. Uh, Ah yeah, now it's messed up, because we don't know about the monster in the basement, we have to now go up again, or we cannot push the game anywhere forward, now we can do the bestiary, yeah, I guess it's the bestiary, bestiarium, and we have to find this escarino, escarino probably is something in Spanish, I guess, it's partially... Probably it's partially translated. Yeah, that's the Escarino. I'm just gonna go... Is it crashed? I was clicking D. Now out. I'm not sure if I did it right. Maybe once again. I'll go to Escarino and then... We go like to the end. So there is a couple of monsters. That's the Escarino, but we don't get the... Yeah, now it works. This is messed up. This is a discovery information. Again, it's not unreadable because of the low resolution. If I keep reading, which I might... I'm not sure how we unlock the rest. Maybe we have to spy on them. Yeah, now, yeah, that's information. I don't know why it's so scripted. Because it's really taking away from the... Freedom of exploration it may definitely put some players off, but I, w I was trying to push through it and the last time. I was also trying to do it now. So basically, there is a monster. You have to poke it with a sword, right? Probably just poke it like this, and it's dead. Uh, I think the developer said now you can get stuff from monsters every time, and you can basically loot stuff and um, do the basic. Uh, Biology and zoology uh, exploration thing. Yeah, now this is done. We should be able to take it. I, we cannot because now we have to wait. After we wait, yeah, see, this is like broken. And after a little bit of waiting, we can take this. Uh, and now I tried to get out of this and I couldn't. Also, there is an sound of the monster which is dead. I did or I didn't. What's a wristband? Ah, that's a wristband. Okay. Now we are the apprentice. Maybe I didn't take the wristband. But I, I don't think. I, I think I did that. And it still got stuck. So that would be the... My, this is generally my third attempt to play it. Play the game. And it's still unfinished. Yep. It's bro... No, it's not. Is it still broken? Tell me it's not. Okay, it's broken. It's not, maybe it's not. Now, okay, now it works. Now it works. I was stuck there, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it by any way because of the save. I had the old save. I, I forgot what we are doing. 
basically. I don't know if does it say. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to find the journal maybe. Yeah, now we have to go to cartographic tower. I should be able to show you the cartography. Yeah, it's a painful process to go through it. Probably would be like a one hour video uh, just to go through the tutorial, but there is no way I can do it differently. Of course I could redo everything, but the game has problems starting. Uh, at least the, the two minutes of loading. So maybe as a warning this should, should be useful. Um, Okay, it's not first impression because I played through it completely. The thing is that I don't know how far it goes now and I know what's done. So I, I, I did see the uh, whole cartography thing. After that I was stuck what to do. I'm not even sure if I found the pickaxe. We also have a... Um, what was I about to say? We have some amount of uh, additional quests for some reason. I don't know if they are shown here. Yes, they are, I guess. Show secondary. Yes, we have the secondary thing about the cards. I don't know if we can even finish it, but maybe. This is the swamp zone, which we don't have. And I hope cartography will show us the maps and basically the gaming map. Still, we don't have the teleportation device. That's a problem because I couldn't find it. Uh, also, be nice if you could find it easier. You should get the teleportation zone from the start, and not like you can't even look around your house because it's all blocked by the tutorial. And I forgot where it was. It's something like this, but there was the stone, and the stone is only near our house. I cannot even show you where the house is because we don't have the map yet. So the beginning is kind of painful of this game, and after you go through all of that. Uh, you just stuck in the first region, so that's kind of like all we have. Yeah, and I felt like an idiot. I, I lost some, but I, I think we just regenerate. I'm not sure, but I think we do. Uh, we can also generate for sure in a rest zone, so this is clearly gonna regenerate us. I'm not sure if we just regenerate, just like jet, uh, just just like that, but. Uh, health is not much of a problem. The problem is that the game doesn't have levels or any sort of builds or classes. We just have very linear progression. Only one way. Maybe the sequence of acquiring the skills is uh, kind of open, but aside from that we are just this one character who goes from zero to hero. If there is anything heroic about his actions, because there is really not much combat for now at least. You, we fight this one monster and then there is like um, a plant that we should be fighting. But uh, it says you need a spear for that and I couldn't find the spear. So I'm really not sure how it works. Alright, so this is painful. Of course there's a lot of talking. And uh, we should I guess now use this device. I'm not sure where it is. Uh, it's this basically. And I don't know how you use it. Maybe we find it in our place here. How do you use this? How do you use this whole spyglass? I don't know. How do you use it? Basically, you have to observe this. But I don't know which button it was. Yeah, T is not that. Was it Q? No. I know how you do it. Right mouse button? No. F, G, no. T. Uh, I don't know if you have the option menu anywhere. I'm just trying buttons right now. Maybe it's somewhere in the bottom. Was it C? Yeah, no, it's C is just crouching. I don't know how you do it right now. Maybe it's some other button. Is it Alt? No. Can we just click anything? No. Maybe it's some of the buttons. There's definitely some mode of using this whole thing. Alright, that's just fousing, doesn't matter. What are the buttons? Keys, right? What is the spyglass? It's you. Okay. 
it's you. One more thing, I'm gonna check the minerals workbench if it's there because I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't the best in English alphabet. Oh, doesn't work, of course. And that's the what? Ah, we have to use the right. We have to use the book. All right. So that's the map. Mm, let me just check it. Where am I? Oh yeah, it doesn't work completely because it's, yeah, that's how I uh, figured out there is nine regions, right? There's apparently nine regions. And we have one, so we have this big map and smaller map, like a region map. And now we have to find the book. I think that's the book. No, this is something else. What is it, by the way? I think we have our own uh, bestiary. And there should be only this one guy that we, we killed. Maybe there's just all monsters here. I don't know, maybe only a couple of them. So where is our book? Maybe we didn't find it. Maybe we didn't find the book. Book should be there, but it's not. So maybe it's just... Where am I supposed to go? Like, I should find a book, which I think I did. Cannot find it. Now I felt like an idiot. Let's check this once again. Reading. It's not in reading. Where is it? Minerals, animals, miscellaneous. Uh, yeah, like we used some things, right? So that's how much stuff might be in the game, at least for now. Generally speaking. Potions? No, of course we don't have any. Use. Reading. What is this? Does it say? Yeah, that's the notebook. Maybe we don't have the book for some reason. Maybe it's not here. It should be there. But it's not. We just got a blank map. Uh, I'm trying. What does it say? Okay. Maybe it's uh, it's quite possible it's not here. So maybe let's check the quest. Uh huh. Look for the book. Where is it? It doesn't say. Relatively close by. Stellar Observatory. Are we in the stellar? No, it's the Cartography Tower, right? So that's the wrong. That, that's the wrong region. We have to go. Yeah, we have to find. Uh, yeah, I don't know why were we. Oh my God! Don't tell me I'm stuck. I'm not. Okay, but almost. Anyway, I didn't save, so I'm an idiot. Right. So you can basically go to Stellar Observatory now. Uh, it's very hard and very prolonged, and it's running badly. If you think that the game has low frames, yes, it probably does, because that's how it looks. And it's not here, Star Observatory. I don't know where is it. Still, I have no idea. I would try to use one of the uh, plants. Is it there? No, it's. You just have to take the direction. Like it's showing us the vector where its stuff is. So you go like uh, by road signs. If it says this way, you go this way until you see another sign, and then you have to check. So it's here. Right. There is a guy. Apparently the guy is not there probably. I recall myself doing this. Exactly. But I, for some reason I don't have the teleportation stones. So probably you have to backtrack then all the way to my house and find this whole teleportation stone. And then I will probably finish because that would be it. Like an hour of gameplay just to do the roughly... Uh, well, roughly do the tutorial. At least, you, at least I can show you the, the, the graphics, right? Because that's what you can expect from the game. Okay, so we have two places. It's either here, probably not, but let's check it. Probably there is stuff hidden, but I cannot say if it is. Right, there is stuff here. So it's gonna give us a piece of information. Is this clickable? No, this is clickable. Yeah. I'm trying. I don't know why you cannot click anything until you read about it. So basically, we got the figurine. 
it's still nothing. It's just some guy. Is this clickable? I'm trying to hover mouse. It's not very easy to uh, navigate. I don't the bird does anything. Uh, we cannot observe it. Yes, we cannot use the spying glass because uh, we don't know the book yet. So we cannot observe the bird. I'm not even sure if we should be doing it. Yeah, that's the book, right? So we have to go all the way here for some reason unknown to me. I don't understand it. I should. I think all this stuff should be just from the start. I know why you are unlocking everything in this convoluted way. It takes like 30 minutes. Yeah. Coming soon, right? Now we can use the spying glass. Spy glass. Let's see if we can. I'm just trying to get out of it. Escape. Yeah. I don't want that. Okay, so I'm supposed to see this, probably, or something. Are we supposed to do it here? I don't know. Let's see what says the quest log. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say. Yeah, we have to go back, right? To map the zone, we have to go back, we have to backtrack, sadly. Does it work? Yes, it works. So this is basically a medieval version of um, No Man's Sky observation of animals. I guess mostly animals. If I find any animal I can try it. Now I have to find my way again. Which will be painful because I forgot where I was. Let's see if this is clickable. This piece of coral. No it's not. Right, so even if it is an asset flip, I would say that the graphics are interesting. They are not ugly, they are simple, but that's lowest uh, settings. And basically water kills. Uh, it's very colorful, it's a strange idea to make a game like this, but it's definitely unique, so I wouldn't say it's bad. Uh, the problem is, if is there a gameplay that goes uh, past that, after you just walk around unlocking stuff and once you already unlock it once you well eventually unlock it is there actually any gameplay to be had once you can dig uh, cut plants and look at animals and do all that stuff is it actually going into any sensible direction does it actually give you any sort of progression the problem is that you don't have any level so you definitely don't get experience you can probably be a sort of completionist and try to uh, just find all this stuff in your like this, right? You can just try to fill it, but I know what's the point of doing it if there is no leveling and really you don't get money for it. Yeah, that's how you heal, by the way. And I guess yeah, this is the way to travel. Can we travel? No. I'll use house. Let's can we travel like this? Oh yeah. It's already there. So apparently you can just travel. You can apparently just travel. That was a change. Because it wasn't there. So see that's the map. Basically that's the game. For now. We have this whole region and uh, a couple of areas, like the bridge, the shipyard, fishing pier. Uh, I'm not sure if everything is implemented. That's the tower that we are at, and we are moving from cartographic tower to some other place. So that was changed. That was basically simplified. We can teleport. So that's good. At least I could show you this. Uh, we are basically nearing the point where I stopped, and I guess I will stop there because I just don't want to really play an unfinished game. Uh, I just want to show it to you the way it is. That's why it's a longer video because I don't want to just say a couple of things and not show you anything. Uh, and if I just had everything unlocked, uh, I would just be standing there like an idiot and uh, just, you know, I'm in this region, I have those things, and well, that's what you see. I can't really do much with that. Everything would be already done, right? I would have killed the monster, I would have mapped the area. I could only tell you that, you know, I'm like past a prologue, I'm past tutorial, and now I'm stuck because the game is not finished, or I don't know what to do. Uh, right, so we have to go up like an idiot. 
then click U and then uh, how do you zoom might be Q might be E I don't know if I'm doing anything yeah we have to basically keep it on the sign right now we somehow go out of it then we oh we can I guess see another one I'm trying to move it believe me it's painful I don't know why maybe the mouse sensitivity is completely off but I'm not sure okay there's one more there clearly let's just go through it what is the last one is it there oh there is probably nothing right oh yeah there is one okay good so those four right so you map it and probably it's the same in every region that's what I'm guessing uh, okay and probably will be stuck now what does it say well it's uh, it's done right we did this kinda cannot be continued okay great now now we have information that this is well that's it right we did one thing and I could be trying to map an animal, but I don't know how you do it. Because I don't know where the, uh, the animals are. I don't see anything, right? Like this, I don't see anything. There is this stone that I was trying to dig. Water will kill me. And now I'm stuck. Basically, that's, that's my problem with the game. After this is done, and the game is unfinished, so I'm, like, stuck now. It says that you should map the animals and plants, but from what I know, you cannot go to another region because they don't exist yet. So after you do this whole tutorial thing, you are left on your own and you cannot progress. And this is pretty much where I made it. I moved a little bit. I think we can now... Can we teleport from here? No, we cannot. Uh, we can just teleport around. And that's what I was doing. And I found this one uh, monster plant I forgot where it was we can try to go to fishing pier for instance and just m go from place to place but at this point I'm stuck and I know if you can progress uh, right so maybe we can let's see if map works yeah we, we are somewhere right oh now it's showing us more stuff can we click on it we should be able to click on it okay so we are somewhere here the left, uh, uh, well, area where I, where, where I am. Yeah, I know that, but I know exactly. Yeah, like there is, I don't know, somewhere there is uh, a river, which I don't. That's the river, maybe. Let's see here. Maybe we can go to like the end of the map and find something. I think this is the place where you should go to another region, but you can't. I'm gonna try. Right? Can I progress? Probably we'll be able to go somewhere because I think uh, developers said something about the mine or something like that being done, but I'm not sure where it's uh, taking me. And also, the problem is that I don't know where I am, so I will be just stuck and lost. Okay, so that's a farm. I wasn't there. And that's. Um, I don't know. I don't want to go there. Maybe go to the farm. By the way, I just clip through the fence. Uh, it kind of works, but doesn't work well. Maybe if you have a better computer, it does. Okay, I'm stuck, right? So I cannot, I cannot move it, move there. I cannot explore this. I have to do something. I don't know what. So that's already a problem. We're being blocked by the whole unfinished game or tutorial. What is here? I have no idea, by the way. I don't know what's here. And now I cannot find the teleport anymore. What does the map show? Well, we're here already, somehow. And there's something like a mailbox, but I don't know how it's used. Mm, yeah, that's the fishing pier. I don't know if this is clickable or anything. Maybe. 
Is there a book? I don't think it's a book. Also, I don't see any monsters here. There is something. Okay, there is something. So I guess we found. There is also a boat. Uh, I'm not sure you can use it. Uh, maybe go there. Yeah, we find something like this. Some sort of map. Uh, so there is clearly secrets, but to be honest, I don't know how you do it. Alright, so we cannot f do it because we don't have the book. I know where it is. Can you do it? How to navigate boats? How am I supposed to click it? I don't know. I will probably die now. On the boat. Okay. How do you navigate? Oh yes, we're swimming. There's two rows. I guess that's the name of the desk that we're using. Not the desk, the board. The oar. Oh yeah, that's the... Rowing is the activity and oar is a... Is an item. I guess that's the name. What am I supposed to? Oh, you can. I, I guess you can use those to jump. From what I understand. Is it X? How do you get out of it? Escape? I don't know. How am I supposed to get out of the boat? I'm trying. And I think I messed up. Can we go back? I don't know. That's, that's bad, kinda. Not sure where I should be swimming, if I should be swimming at all. I'm just trying. And the controls are not the best. Maybe I'll try to go there. Can we go there? I think I killed it. No, no, it's eating me. How, how do I go out of it? Okay, let's try to find... Help. Uh, how do you go out of the boat? Let's read it. Uh huh. Okay, it doesn't say. The buttons. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. Forward, backwards, run, crouch, interact. It's E. It doesn't work. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm stuck. I guess I'm stuck now. I should. Maybe it's what is loom? G. At this point, I can just click anything. Loom. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck here. L. What is loom? Cannot fight. Can I just go there? Like into this? No. I'm just breaking the boat. Uh, how am I supposed to get out of this? I don't know. If I die, then what? Probably the boat will be broken. Then you can. I guess you can repair it. It's kind of strange. Can we just go back? Probably not. Let's see if we can go back there. Maybe that's the way to go. Just from pier to pier. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. So apparently you have to swim to some place, right? From there. Let's see the map. Uh, so we are here. No, we are not here. Uh, maybe we are here. What's the Z? I think the Z is the rest place. So we can go now to the rest place, if I can find it. It's there, it's good that it's shining, because it would be hard to find otherwise. Right, so we will go to the... I would like to go to the mine, if it's there, if it exists, because I don't know. I'm really trying, guys, I'm really trying to do something here. So, if we're here, that's the mine. We might be going the wrong way. Can we go? Let's see there. Is it is it the, the road to mines? Oh, we cannot go there. Okay. What is what is it, is it saying? Yeah, that's the mine, and we cannot go there. Right. What the quests say? Basically, they say draw animals. But I don't know how and who. Hmm. Bridge. Well, apparently there is something else that you can do to progress. Hopefully, I know that somewhere is this whole animal. I think we were here already. Yeah, we were here. You know what? I will go back to the um, house 
and I will try. I think the animal was near the house, or rather the plant. Well, basically the monster, the interactive thing. So there's not much interactive things here. Okay. Why is the Gracon? Ah, okay. So this is the monster. That's the flying monster that shows up eventually. Where was the zoom? Is that the zoom? I don't know. I don't see him by the way. But apparently you can look for this. Yeah. You can look for this monster and map him. Which is supposed to, I guess, do something. But this is secondary anyway. So I'm just gonna go to this and travel to house. And if I re remember correctly, somewhere there was this whole monster. Maybe now we can move around, or maybe we are still blocked by the tutorial. It's hard to say. Oh, maybe it's there. I don't know. But there is something clearly. What is there? What does it say? Yeah. Mine camp. Can we go there? Maybe. I'd like to. No, it's the same thing. So that's not any shortcut. Uh, the mine is probably there, but I'm not sure where exactly. It doesn't say what's this way. What does the map show? We're somewhere here, I guess. Maybe somewhere here. I think I found this whole mailbox before. It's possible. And then somewhere there I found the monster, if I recall correctly. But I might be completely wrong about it. Like th there is some sphere. Now we can go to it. Before we couldn't. And I don't know what it, what it does. Can we probably have to put some object here. But now we can't. Right. Yes, they are strange. I don't know what to do with them. So I cannot give you a, a full guide on the game. Because I don't know how to progress. I'm basically lost completely at this point. And this is pretty much how far I got. I also found this one... Uh, plant creature that was spewing something uh, in my direction and I couldn't kill it because I had just the sword we were here already apparently or not yeah I think it's there there is like a mine here is the monster that's what I did uh, last time it said that you should use a spear on it can we see it? Not yet. Can we? Where is the monster? Yeah, that's the monster. Now I have to go. See, it has a thousand life. And now it says we should be stealthy. I guess. Are we drawing it? Okay, E is zoom. We can zoom. I could go stealthy. It probably sees me anyway. I think I was trying to draw it. Okay, we are not drawing it. Because we are too far. Are we drawing it? I don't know. I don't think we are. Maybe it's not supposed to see us. Maybe we can just go out. Last time I tried it was just... Yeah, it's too far. I tried to go like this. From the right side. I'm not sure this is the right approach. Yes, it is. Okay, let's try to find it. Uh, so I'm gonna go there. Then I'm gonna... Click it, maybe. I'll find the beast if I can. And I guess when we find it, we should press W. I'm not sure if that's the, the monster. I don't see any buttons, really. So it's not helping. Yeah, that's it. So I'm stuck now. Maybe we're stuck because these uh, quests are broken or something. I, I really don't know. What does it say? 
Yeah, I've drawn one. Okay. I still don't know what, what we do now. What am I supposed to do now? We know it, we see it. We can't do anything about it. And at this point, I guess I'm stuck. Okay, I'm just switching it off. It was drawn. Okay, I get it. Can we. Whatever. Let's just see if I can die. Okay, we go to the cave. Probably we can't. Does it see me? I cannot move for some reason. I cannot move. Why? Is it like in the way? I have no idea. I cannot move past it. Like it's taking. Yeah, it killed me. Alright, so basically you recover completely, but you have 1 HP. Why am I so weak? Yeah, I am weak. I'm trying to move there. Am I still like... No. I'm very slow. Why am I someone special? I don't know what happened. What, what it was. What happened? Yeah, I died. Yeah, it cannot be continued. Okay. I don't know why it appeared there. So we drawn the monster. And I don't know what to do now. At this point, I'm stuck in the game. We can slowly heal here. And apparently, you are supposed to use a spear to kill the monster, but I don't know how. Maybe it's not implemented yet. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, that was a very painful uh, tutorial, probably an hour long, sorry for that, but that's that's all I could show you about the game. This is pretty much all I know that is in the game, maybe I'm just gonna, should I save it? now? Nah, I'm just leaving, I guess, maybe we'll go to main menu, hopefully it loads now properly. Okay guys, so this is what I was able to do so far. I'm not saying that's all that's in the game now, but I guess it's close because now we have this whole uh, area, this one region, and a lot of stuff is not implemented or impossible to do because, well, something. I don't know if it's because I didn't do some quest or maybe it's because that's it, maybe that's the whole game. It says there is a few hours of gameplay where we played for an hour or less. We played for 50 minutes. And that's all I can do in this game. I have no idea how to progress. Uh, some mechanics are there. Some mechanics are supposed to be there at some point. So it's really hard to say how much will be done and how much is done. Uh, clearly right now we have one region out of nine. There is supposed to be a lot of stuff like, let's see. Yeah, like this is supposed to be there. Loom, I don't know what's loom. It's not there. Smith is not there. Spyglass is working. Open locks is working. Uh, we have, yeah, we have combat. Maybe we have shield, but we didn't find any. Uh, Sawmill is not there. Shipyard is not there. Alchemy is not there. Minerals probably are not there. We can swim, but I don't know where and what's the point. Uh, I guess you can only, yeah, you can only use uh, the PS, right, to get out of there. What does it say? Uh, for the hand company, yeah. So mapping works. We mapped one area and we only have one area. We couldn't go to mine for some reason. I don't know what. The game is very confusing at this point because it's very alpha and it's blocking a lot, a lot of options. And I'm very afraid that even if all the options were there, the game would still be a little bit underwhelming. Um, at the same time, I don't want to kill the project. I don't want to say the game is bad, because this is an interesting project, for sure. Uh, if it's ever finished, if you ever get nine regions with all the well parts of the game working, with probably little combat and lots and lots of like, exploration, the game will eventually have content. Right now it doesn't. Right now it's just an alpha, with as much as I was able to show you, maybe more, if there is more, then just uh, write a comment. I'm not saying that's all that's in the game, but that's all I found. Uh, clearly, it's hard to progress if you don't know what you're supposed to do. Uh, also, if you are just um, exploring for the sake of it, it's not a very good incentive to do it. I would prefer if this um, 
gave me some sort of points, some sort of experience where I could use it on skills and buy them and basically upgrade my character somehow. Uh, right now we just can do stuff for the sake of it. Uh, as, as completionists we can fill the, well, let's say notebook or whatever it is with some um, entries of um, plants, animals and maybe other stuff. I don't know where is the pickaxe for instance, I have no idea if it's there, maybe it's somewhere in the game, maybe it's gonna be implemented. Uh, hard to say where the game is trying to go, because if we had everything that it's kinda trying to show us, there would still be very basic combat. Uh, I don't know how would the building work, what would be the point of it. It might be just a sort of um, sequence fetch quests from one region to the other, which would definitely give you uh, gameplay time, but I'm not sure if the gameplay would be that good. Uh, graphically, it's strange. It works badly. It looks very colorful and also budget, but at the same time, it's not really bad. It's not uh, really disgustingly looking like many games. Um, this colorful approach to the world is actually interesting and unique, in my opinion. Even if it's just even the assets, they are used in a specific way, maybe recolored or something. I think that the game looks very strange, and that's a plus, that's something strange and unique. Kind of like one planet of No Man's Sky. The question is, is one planet from No Man's Sky that much interesting? You just map a couple of things, and then what? People even say the No Man's Sky is shallow. Now here we don't have uh, any spaceships, any trading systems, uh, any well, not many upgrades, if any, that there are uh, completely linear. So there's not much to really. You cannot go to another planet, in this case another region, because that's the only region we have. Even if we have nine of them, that's not that much, really. At the same time, you know, it's not the smallest game. Even this one region is something already. Uh, nine of them would be nine times more. So th this could be like, I don't know, 15, 20 hours game with a lot of secrets, maybe more. But it's very, very alpha. It's very unfinished and strange project. Um, what should I give to this game? I would give it 5, clearly, because th this is very mixed bag. It's one of those projects that you want to see finished, but at the same time you're afraid it will never be finished. But I cannot say it, I don't know. So, if it's finished, it might be much better. It's probably not gonna be another Skyrim or No Man's Sky, but it could be a budget... Um, well, low price version of an exploration, slightly RPG, slightly crafting, whatever it's added to the game. Right now it's basically exploration with super rudimentary combat. Uh, pretty much just an exploration uh, adventure game, that's what you can say. It's an exploration adventure game in a colorful world, uh, done in a very budget way. But at the same time, using a low budget and using those assets, it's done in a colorful, very interesting setting. Uh, just from, I don't know, artistic point of view. It's not very good mechanically, it runs badly, and uh, the graphics are not the best, but the whole recoloring thing, the usage of strange plants, strange structures, uh, adds to the game, clearly. It's... Uh, Sort of a budget eye candy, if that's a, a good expression for it. Uh, also, the gameplay right now is very painful because it's all scripted. We're basically in an hour long uh, tutorial slash prologue, and then we're stuck. At least I am stuck. I don't know what, what else I could do. Maybe I can do something else, but I don't know. I'm on the, every step, I'm blocked by missing content or by the linear nature of the tutorial. So you have this one game, uh, one hour of gameplay now, maybe more, but I don't know what you can do aside from just running around like an idiot and looking for something interactive, which most of it is not. Um, so you can very easily get stuck in this game. You, you can even get stuck on the first, uh, you know, um, quest where you have to find this missing part for the tower. If you could, if you don't find it, you're stuck. You just do almost nothing. You just go to the tower and you will be stuck there. Combat, well, we had one bug. That was the combat. We had, we had one bug that died in one or two hits. That was the whole combat that I found and the big monster that was unkillable. Maybe you could kill it, I don't know. Uh, so, interesting project, unfinished game, 
5 out of 10 with a very big warning that this is an early alpha, which developer says he's absolutely honest about. He says it's an alpha and like all those words are saying that the game is like unfinished, right? It's an Eonia alpha even in window mode. It's alpha here and uh, I already gave the game like a month and I guess it had patches. At least we could go past the uh, basement but before I was also past the basement I don't know what was added I know what was changed now we can uh, cut plants maybe and we instantly have the teleportation that that are the changes but still a lot of stuff is un um, implemented uh, also you should play on low on highest settings if your uh, rig can take it because otherwise you'll have very blurred text for some reason. Here the text is okay, but in the books the text is absolutely horrible. The game is also very um, badly done technically. It's not polished, it runs slowly. I, I mean, uh, Fallout 4 runs better than this. Uh, what else? Um, Prime, Far, Far Cry Primal works better than this. Witcher 3 works better than this. It's all on the same rig, it's on the same computer. So the game just runs slow and badly. Maybe it will be optimized, maybe it was optimized, maybe it's my system, maybe it's my graphic card, I don't know, but it definitely doesn't run as it should. A game this budget should run very well, and it doesn't, at least in my case. So that's all I could show you. I showed you the long loading, I showed you the gameplay, the whole tutorial, um, my, well, stream of thoughts that just went on for an hour, sorry for that, but that was the only way I could do it. Uh, can I recommend it? Uh, I think you should observe observe the game. Maybe get it on sale. Maybe try to get the key and help with um, developing the game. Maybe give some feedback. Uh, I definitely wouldn't buy it in this state because it's unfinished. Even if you know, if it's a full game, I could pay like ten dollars, maybe, maybe more, ten to fifteen dollars if it's finished. It's not finished, so at this point, this is just an alpha. Uh, this is not a finished product. Uh, but I wouldn't kill it. I wouldn't say that the pro, the, uh, the well, what I'm trying to say, product, not the product, the project, right? Uh, I think the project is interesting enough to keep it in your radar. It's quite unique game, strange and unique. But uh, will it ever go out of alpha and early access? I have no idea. I cannot tell you that. Uh, you see what I did. I did this one hour of gameplay. That's all I can show you. And there might be more, I'm not saying there isn't, but the game is clearly not finished yet. Uh, it's very strange, it's hard to be classified, this whole adventure, exploration game in open world with elements of RPG crafting and something else. I don't know what else is there. For, for now I didn't see any building, so I cannot say it's in the game. It might be in the game eventually, with activities around, usually not combat, combat based, there is very little combat. Um, it's a strange idea. I would actually prefer it the other way around. Like have all the classes leveling and combat plus the other elements. Maybe make it more like a survival game. But that's the strange direction the developer took. And it is unique in some way. It definitely is. Uh, is it worth buying? I wouldn't say. But my chance is not about uh, if the game is worth buying. I'm trying to say what it is and how, how good it is. The price is another story. Um, not recommended, but interesting uh, idea in very early alpha, 5 out of 10 in this state. Uh, it has interesting elements, but it's unfinished. It's not much gameplay at this point. Uh, you could grab it cheap if you're interested. You could also try to, of course, uh, help the developer by buying the game, but that's not something I personally do. I don't really trust anyone uh, that they ever finish the game because there's so many uh, early alpha games on Steam that I just don't trust anybody. There's many, many, too many games in endless early access. So I could grab it on a sale if I was interested. I personally don't play games like this. I prefer if it's more RPG, if it's more open world, if there is more... Um, well, options to do things, not just linear adventure. I don't buy linear adventure games. 
Uh, some people do. Some people play only those games. Some people like those games. So, you know, if you do, then you can try it. But you will, will probably get stuck after some time. If it's finished, yes, it could be a quite long uh, open world adventure game with interesting elements. So it definitely has potential. Uh, I guess like fifty dollars now. I'm not sure. You know what? I can try it. I can try to check it. Uh, let's see. Eonia. How, how? What does this shop say? Is it? Can it? Be? Yeah. Yeah. It's on sale now. It's five dollars. It was like ten dollars. So five to ten dollars. Yeah. It could be ten to fifteen dollars if it's finished. In this state, it's like we have ten percent of the game. And be aware, because the game tells you that it has tons of stuff, but it's not implemented, right? Fishing, maybe. Lockpicking, yes, it's there. Stealth, yes. Travel, yes. Sailing, kinda. Combat, well, so far I have only sword. Much more, it's probably stuff that will be uh, appear at some point. Blacksmithing, I didn't find it. And the repairing, I don't know if it's there. Mapping the vast territory. Well, now it's just one uh, out of nine sectors. Uh, hundreds of animals, well I've seen two of them, or three. Uh, minerals, I didn't find a pickaxe. Rings to amulets, yes, I actually when I played it before I found like one or two uh, rings or amulets. Building potion, I didn't find it. Construction and repair of structures, I didn't see it in the game. Crafting tools and items, I don't think we crafted anything. So, it might be there. It might be there or it might be implemented, it's not there yet. Or I, I didn't find it. Uh, so guys, that will be it for Eonia. I'm personally deinstalling it and I might go, go back a uh, long time in the future when it's completely finished, if I still have the key. Uh, right now I'm, I'm done with the game. I played through the basically tutorial that took an hour and I got stuck. And I, I'm pretty sure most stuff in the game is not yet in the game. So I tested it thoroughly. I have like three hours in it, and I actually played it for three hours overall, trying three times to, to start the game on different saves and different levels of development with patches and other patches. Uh, so I tested it clearly, uh, but I'm personally done with the game. If you want to support developer, please be my guest. If you want to buy it cheap, hoping that it will, it will be finished, you can also do it. Uh, I'm personally giving it a pass and uh, delaying the game for a long time. I might come back if it's completely finished and if someone tells me it's awesome. Maybe it will be. Uh, it's not yet, but it might be. So it's more a project than a game. Uh, plus for the developer that he's uh, honest, very honest and very responsive to feedback. Uh, clearly saying that this is an alpha and it's not finished. Even in the game, like coming soon. Well, hopefully the soon will come. Uh, I gave the game like a month, so I don't know, maybe at the end of the year or something. Hard to, really, really hard to say. You can, you can keep asking on the forum what's the status of the game, will, will it be finished, what was added. You can try to check the patch notes and stuff like that. I think I was okay with just showing you what the game is at this point. Uh, sorry for the length, but that's the only way I, uh, I was able to think about this game. I didn't want to just talk about it for five minutes and then and, and kill the project. I wanted to show you as much as possible. So I hopefully I did it. So that will be it for Eonia uh, and I will see you guys in the next review.